it's Charlie here with Max Cast Fish and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Super excited about today. I finally got a fish finder for the boat. Ended up going with the Lowrance Hook Reveal, seven inch model. And uh, got a Railblaze uh, rotating platform R, R mount. And that's gonna go into that port you see up there at the corner. So, whoo, man, I'm super excited about this. Finally have a fish finder on the boat. That way I can kind of see what's going on underneath. Help me find structure with the side scan and and also the, the down scan imaging. So I uh, figure we'll uh, open this box up, take a look, see what comes inside, and then get this uh, all put together. All right, here we go. Lorance hook reveal. This thing is pretty new. So we've got the unit itself. Welcome aboard card. Sweet. All right. What else? We got the we got the uh, transducer. Big old thing. And let's see. It looks like just some documentation. And here is the mount that I'm I'm hoping will fit with this rail blazer. And let's see what else we got. Looks like we got a power cord, transducer bracket, and some other stuff. Oh, look. He even included some decals. Oh, man, too bad those aren't white. Hey, what do you know? There's one that's white. Sweet. All right, well, good deal. That's kind of what's in the box. Looks like you got your power cord here. Two decals, one white, one black. Um, looks like a fuse and some tightening knobs. Of course, there's that transom bracket. And what else? Some screws and I'm not sure what those little plastic pieces are. We'll figure that out. All right, well, let me get this all attached to the boat and I'll get back with you all after I get it installed. All right, welcome back. It has been several days and several fishing trips later since I uh, originally filmed the intro for this video. And I have since changed the transom location three times and I finally settled on uh, one particular location. So um, I wanted to wait until I put the rest of this information out so you all know where I actually preferred to have the transom and what worked best for me. But I'll, uh, I'll show you all now, now where I uh, mounted it. All right, so here is the fish finder mounted. I'm using the Railblazer, Railblazer rather, mount there and got it on that platform. You should be able to see that there. And what's nice about this is this spins and when I want to take it off the boat, I can easily take it off. So I'm digging this up. I really like it. Um, this is what I ended up doing for my transducer. Um, so I've got it mounted. I made a PVC bracket here. And this is all one inch PVC. So what I did is I took a T section for here and I cut it in half. And then I used these clamps, these uh, metal clamps to secure it to the trolling motor shaft. And then from there, I cut two inches of one inch PVC, pushed it in. And I didn't use any PVC glue for any of this, and, and you don't want to, so you can still take this apart if you want to get the cable. And in my opinion, you don't need it at all. It's uh, when you hammer it all in place, it, it holds up very well. So I, I got uh, two T intersections, cut one of them in half, and then I've got this 90 degree. Again, there's another two inch regular piece of PVC in there. And then there's a 45 degree into another 90 degree and then I think I cut this to about five inches here. Uh, I might be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure that's five inches. And then I used a U-bolt and then just uh, mounted it to this bracket right here. And I did have to use a drill bit to drill this wider so this uh, bolt could fit through. And then after I, I uh, got it uh, figured out where I wanted it, I actually put the bolts on this thread on these uh, 
on the thread here and then I used a, a Dremel to cut this down shorter because it did stick up like to up here. So that's how I got it. Um, and so now that I decided that I wanted it on the trolling motor in an effort to have to not have to put all this on when I went to a pond or a lake, I decided, you know what, I need to just go ahead and mount this to where this stays on the boat at all times, but be able to trailer it at the same time. So I did, this is what I got. Uh, you know, this just mounts the normal way and I use a little bolt here and I just go through the last uh, slot, selector slot for the trolling motor and then just hook this to that. And that works. I mean, this it's really not, this really isn't doing a whole lot. I mean, it's just, it's just an, another attachment point. So I'm comfortable with that. You know, I know this is kind of thin plastic, but I think it's going to hold up just fine. So. I got that, that's how I'm working that up front. And then I made this bracket here so I could, let me loosen this here so I can show y'all. And so basically what this is, it's just, it's pretty sketchy and I need to paint it. Um, it's just some two by fours and I just got it at the right angle. And then I use this aluminum plate right here and then that just slips into this uh, troll king bracket right here. And that way it all locks in. And when I tighten it up, it tightens down pretty good. And that's not going anywhere. And I've, uh, you know, I've had this up to 70 miles an hour on the freeway and it's held up good. This piece up here, uh, it's probably not needed, but I went ahead and, and uh, made it just because I had the extra material, extra PVC. It is T uh, cut in half just like down here and it's just another T that's open and I put the wire the uh, transducer wire that goes back to the unit through that and that just keeps it off the, the uh, trolling motor shaft while I'm out in the water I mentioned before I uh, I mounted this transducer in three different locations the first thing that I made the contraption I made was this and basically what it is is just like half inch PVC and then I took a little piece of wood this is actually a piece of a two by four and I used one of these Forstner bits and this is a 7 8 Forstner bit and basically just drilled a drilled a hole in a piece of wood and then I took a piece of kydex that I had and molded this little bracket right here and then I had this locking or this wing nut rather from something, I don't know, I keep everything. So I've just got a bunch of random parts in my garage. And so what basically what this allowed me to do is just move this up and down on this. And then this piece here is what I used to mount this to. So this transducer bracket right here mounted to this and all of this, and this was permanently affixed or it was it didn't move what designed to move and this went back here these are paddle clips oh, I'm moving the boat. so these were paddle clips and so what happened is the transducer was down here and what was nice is you could loosen this up when you were done or you're taking about to take it out of the water and you can just uh, slide that up and now and I would actually turn it when I transported the boat I would put it right there so this worked really well and I liked having the transducer back here at the back of the boat but the reason I decided to move it was because let me turn this around so for instance with the transducer up at the front of the boat and down in the water like say if I was to go over like say that uh that water hose dispenser which fell off the house anyways we're just using that as a reference please ignore that say if that was underwater and i'm going past it so with, even with the transducer at the front of the boat there i wouldn't see that on my graph on the fish finder until i was probably until it was probably lined up like half at the halfway point of the boat is when i would finally see it on the graph so i would say there was like a a five to five to six foot delay before I'd actually see the structure. And so for that reason, 
I mounted it up to the front and I'm happy with that. But of course, you know, I did have to make all this extra, but I'm okay with that because now that's one less thing I have to add or put on or take off when I'm uh, going out fishing. So I'm happy with that. All right, so there you have it. That is the Lowrance Hook Reveal 7. It's a, uh, I mean, it's only been out on the market for a few months now. I love this thing, it's awesome. Uh, I got this installed on the boat and I went out later that, uh, that morning or that after, early morning and uh, caught a few fish, mainly went out there just trying to look for things, stuff that I already knew was there. And I was going along a bank and actually saw what looked like a rock pile on the side scan. I uh, got off the trolling motor and this is when the transfer was mounted in the back of the boat, by the way, and saw the rock pile. and I was like, man, it looks like there's two fish on there. And I cast it back there, caught one fish, and then cast it back there again and caught a second fish. And so that was pretty cool to be able to see. I would have never known that rock pile was there otherwise. And so that was pretty cool to see that. And then later that same night, I went out with my brother to a different spot and we, uh, we got on a uh, pretty big shad spawn and there was bass feeding on, on, the, uh, on the, the shad spawn and I ended up hooking into a pretty good fish. So you definitely wanna stay tuned to watch that video. So as always, I appreciate the support and y'all tuning in. If y'all would hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to the channel. Thanks, bye.